Aha, my hearties! I don't know what's happened here. It's Scotty McClure saying dinky doo to every one of you. Hello there. So there we are. But uh, I am the man behind the mask. Do come and join us. Wednesday evening, quick tea time pop up just for you to say dinky doo. But yes, it's me. It's definitely Scotty McClure. And um, I must have touched something. And this is the result. This is what we've got here. But welcome, 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 I say. You're very, very welcome. Come and and join us. Thakur Sharma is watching. Dinky Doo, Thakur Sharma. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And you're watching Scott McClure, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one, the one everyone's talking about, the one everyone's watching. Facebook Live, just for you. Hi, how are you, sir? Says Thakur. Very well, absolutely. Charles McLaughlin, Dinky Doo. Welcome, 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 I say. The Scotty McClure Wednesday evening pop up. I've changed my gear for you. Do you like it? Do you like the new look? I say, welcome. Yes, excellent stuff. Lots to talk about, of course, a little time to do it in. Thousands upon thousands of you have seen the show recently. Hello, old mucker, says Greg Drysdale. Dinky do, Greg. Lovely to have you with us. And hello to you. It is indeed me, Scotty McClue. William Cameron's watching Dinky do. Mickey M's Gath Cocker says, hi, Scotty. Hi, Mickey M's Gath Cocker. Lovely to have you with us. Hello, hello, says Atlanta Smith and Dinky Doo. Brian Kessick's watching Annette Kirkwood. <laughs> Looking great, Scotty. Thanks very much. It's disco time. Oh, yes, big time. So there you are. Excellent stuff. There we are. And of course, you'll see me in black and white. So nothing more true than this. It's down here in black and white. Share, 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 share. And tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClue is live big time. John C. McCluskey is enjoying this. Did you do, John? What lovely to have you with us. My mask slipped there when I looked away. I need to watch that. Otherwise, you'll all know it's me. Excellent stuff. So there we go. If you're Brown watching. Lovely to have you with us, Fiona. And Dinky Doo, if you've all just joined us, then you'll be going for your tea. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet. This is the big one. The one stop broadcaster with a Wednesday evening pop-up just for you. Looking suave, says Michael Connor. Excellent stuff. Stuart Gray watching. Dinky Doo. Now, do you like the idea that we might start taking calls on this program, guys? I think that would be a good one. Are you auditioning as a blues brother? Yes. I don't know what I've touched, but there we are. This is what we ended up with tonight. So dinky do, I say, as uh, the guy that sang the blues. Lee Fern's watching. Hello, Scotty. How are you doing this evening? This is Brian Kessick. Liking the new look, Scotty. Gordon Stirling's watching. Be a shocker for him. Yay. Calls, calls. So there we are. So we'll do some calls. Why, says Gordon Sterling? Why what, Gordon Sterling? Shanice, stinky do. Lovely to have you with us. Excellent stuff. Scotty, says Shanice. Ring, ring. Excellent. Should we be taking calls on this show, guys? I want to know. You have to tell me. It's your show and your calls. Oh, you saw me there. My mask slipped. So there you are. Gordon Sterling, what's your language now, please? Scotty, PMSL, says Shanice. Did you do Sharice? Jack Patterson is watching. Did you do Jack? Are you still abroad? Or you are sure on these shores? Yes, calls an amazing idea. Bring back to the classic way we all love. Oh, says Sharice. Uh, think real black glasses and hat would look great, Scotty, says Annette Kirkwood. What makes you think, Annette? These are not real. So there you are. Karen McKellar says hello. Great Gatsby says Louis Faber. Absolutely. Did you study that in school? I ask. Um, I don't think I taught you that I didn't teach you English literature. But I, I, I can remember teaching English literature to a lot of people. The Great Gatsby. A wonderful, wonderful piece of work. Yes, call, says Momo McTavish. Great disguise tonight, Scott. Yes, says Lee Fern. Ah, but you know it's me, you see. That's the problem. Martin Parks watching. Didn't you do? Gavin McVicker, dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I say if you've just joined us, a very warm welcome 
to the Scotty McClue Wednesday evening pop-up just for you to say dinky do. Now then, just doing a bit of sharing, getting the old Facebook up here, getting sorted out, black and white, keeping it right, Scotty. So Fiona Brown, yeah, so there we are. Absolutely, Louis, that's right. Yes, indeed. Singing the blues, says Sharice. Sharice, are you singing the blues? I say, there we are. I sang the blue notes. They took it through the horn till it was born into a new note. And then they nursed it. And calls, you did that in the 90s, Scotty. So there we are. Will this man be able to cut off the bad stuff quick enough? That was half the laugh, says John C. McCluskey. Well, of course, we hope there isn't any bad stuff, John C. McCluskey. That's the whole point in saying, shall we take the calls? And dinky do, I say to every one of you. Excellent stuff. But we're thinking about calls for the program. Would you be up for that? I ask you. Start a live call in with single parent mothers like the old days, says Greg Drysdale. Scotty, you look like a gangster. You look very cool, says Annette Kirkwood. Ah, oh, yes, the ladies like the gangsters, don't they? Cared and shared. Michael McMillan, Derek Jimmy Walker. Dinky do, I say. Lovely to have you with us. And of course, how did you know it was me? I do know it's you, Scotty. Nothing gets past me, says Lee Fan. Ah, yes, Lee Fan. You got that from me, that nothing gets past you, because nothing gets past me either. Except, how do we stop the disguise? My favourite scene of the Blues Brothers. So there we are. Marie Fraser's watching. Hi, Derek. Look, Scotty. I put 50p in my telly. So there we are. Excellent stuff. Whoops. You saw me looking down there. I have to keep looking up to keep in line with my spectacles. We don't don't want to lose my spectacles, I say. So there we are. I'll just let everybody know I'm live. Share, share, share. There we are. A bit of sharing going on. Excellent stuff. Share. We've shared there. And uh, we're sharing to a page. Excellent stuff. Sharing to a group. Wonderful. We'll do that as well. So there we are. John C. McCluskey, the fat birds. Too many single parents these days, says Annette Kirkwood. We may have a discussion about it, Annette. Uh, Charisse is watching Dinky Do. Lovely to have you with us. Of course, I'm just doing a bit of sharing as we go. So excellent, excellent. And uh, we'll let everybody know that we're live and that they can come and join us. Excellent stuff. So there we are. Right, that's that lot. They know about it. Paul Wilkins is watching. Dinky do. Annette, don't wind him up, says Greg Drysdale. John Warrender, Scotty McBlue brother. Yes, absolutely. So there we go. Scotty McBlue brother. I say, welcome, welcome, welcome. The Scotty McBlue pop up. It's tea time. It's Wednesday evening. You look like a provy collector. <laughs> Looking gangster, Scotty, says Paul Wilkinson. Excellent stuff. Shall I go back to being Scotty McClure? I say, shall we change this? I don't know how it happened. I must just have touched something. And, uh, of course, everything's gone a wee bit bananas. So there we go. Excellent. We're just letting everybody know. Just doing a bit of sharing, guys. Share, 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 share. If you can all do the same. What's for your tea tonight, says Atlanta Smith. Very, very smart. A little bit of cheese and toast tonight, just two slices. Obviously, I'm watching my figure. Gary Frank Crossley is watching as well. And dinky do we say to Gary Frank Crossley. So there we are. When I look down to share, you know it's me, don't you? You find out it's me. Tell everybody, for goodness sake, tell 10 to tell 10 that Scotty McClure is live on Facebook Live just for you. Hot pot tonight, says Derek Jimmy Walker. You ready for the apparent warm weather that's on its way next week? Mind you, I don't know that Scotland will get it, says Lee Fan. We always get it. It's always warm in Scotland. We're in the Gulf Stream on the west, you see. Like this or like this? Yes, I used to go out with an optician. She always said to me, is it better like this? Or is it better like this? And I would say, again? So there we are. Uh, so excellent stuff. Woohoo! And dinky do, Scotty McClue. You're on every night on Scotty TV. John C. McCluskey, are you coming on? Shall we add you? And then you can add me. Come on and have, have a bit of a chit chat with Scotty McClue live on the World's Talk broadcast, on the World's Talk program with the World's Talk broadcaster. 
And of course, the first lord of the internet. You can't beat cheese and toast. We needed the freezer tonight and had some pizza. So there you are. He's declined it. Excellent stuff. Um, David Mo Morris. I'm naked. What about the SN? 10-4 over, says Sharice, one nine for a rig check. Sharice, what am I hitting you with, Big Smokey? Just watch yourself there and he'll fly right by. Excellent stuff. So, right, now, uh, back we go. We've got lots of Scotty McClure here, and I'm just going to post that, and there we are. Excellent stuff. Now, do you want me to come off? How do I come off this uh, disguise? I need to know, what do I do? What happens when I touch that? Oh, so there you are. Excellent stuff, right? We get that. So there we go. That's that one. And oi, oi. So where's the guy, dog? I'm trying to get off this. Will you stop it? For goodness sake. How do we do it? Does everybody know? How do I get off this? Invite your friends. No, it's not that one. So there we are. Excellent. Right. Oi, oi. Lol, Scotty. Your bonnet under your hat. I love it. Yeah, I've got my bonnet. Yes. <laughs> If I do that, then I'm back with you. But I don't know how to get short of the colored bit. <laughs> That's the difficult bit. Scotty, this world is funny. It's just a reason. So, do you think so? <laughs> <laughs> You're not on the other end of it. David McPhail's watching. Didn't you do excellent stuff? So it's a filter, is it? Excellent, right. So what did I do? What did I touch to get this? You mad nugget, says William Drysdale. Oh, it's beyond my control, William. It's just happened. Karen Mercury is watching. Press the back button. No, if I press the back button, I'll lose you. Will I not? I'll lose the whole broadcast. If I press the back button, I'm sure of it. So there we are. Um, but I don't know. So there we are. Anybody know what to do? I'll give you 50 for the bonnet. Scotty's got the eye. There we are. Quick flash of McClue for you. The gangster DJ. I'm in parade next week, says Derek Jimmy Walker. Excellent. Take the sunglasses off. You might be able to see your numpty. Uh, funny, says Karen Mercury. Glad you think so. My dear, I'm stuck with it. I don't know what's happening here. Stop it. There we are. Oh, you got a flash of McClue. I prefer his bonnet on. There I am with the bonnet on. Did I? Oh, every time I can back up. So there we are. I don't know what to do about this, guys. I don't know what actually happens. Uh, control. So should he know there's no control on this? It's a different device that doesn't have that. It's a very, very modern device. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10. The Scotty McClue is live. Big style. So there we are. The Wednesday evening tea time pop up just for you. Dinky do. John Gray is watching. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us, John. And uh, what do we do about the filter? Anybody got any information? How you actually get out of this? <laughs> God, I love this man. Says Kirkwood. I'm glad you do, my darling. Love it, says David Moore Morris. Do we keep it on? I'm stuck. So there we are, stuck behind the filter. It must have been something I touched just before I came on. What happens if I look back? Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, nearly, uh, nearly got sunburned on the back of my neck there. Excellent stuff. Right, we're sharing and sharing, so you can do the same. Share post now. Let everybody know Scotty McClue is live. Did you do? You on holiday? What device are you using? Says Robbie. Um, I don't know, Robbie. It doesn't say on it. They don't nowadays. They're they're very sleek, very sleek. Ah, singing the blues, singing the blues. So if I look suddenly, you get a flash of my clue. Excellent stuff. You look like one of the Blues Brothers, says William Drysdale. Thank you very much, William. I think every day has said that now enough. So there we go. So we've got that. Right, tell 10 to tell 10. How do we get sharing here? Let me see what's happening. See if I can share this. Wonderful. Right, share. Oops. There we go. My mask slipped. <laughs> Excellent. If you've just joined us, a very warm welcome. Scotty needs help, says Sharice. Yes. Anybody know how we get out of the filter? 
So there we go. Uh, I'll just have to share to your page and let everybody know that Scotty McClue is live on the big one, but he's trapped behind his glasses and hat. Excellent. Whoops, there we had a go. <laughs> so help me, somebody. For goodness sake, what's going on here? Right, there we go. Share to a page, your marriage. I'm just going to share to a page. Let everybody know. Share, hello. Share to the Scotty McClue page. Excellent stuff. There we are. Uh, Scotty needs help. Come on, she needs out an appeal for help. JP McCarran's watching. Lovely to have you with us. And Dinky you do, you're watching. Scotty McClue. Are you having a quiz, says Charles Diver? Yes, Charles. I think we probably will be having a bit of a quiz. Push one of the symbols at the bottom to clear the bottom of your screen, Scotty. I don't want to touch that in case I... What happens if I do that? Uh, so there we go. Nope, that's not working. Uh, don't tell him how to switch. Oh, thank you. No, that's not working. And it's not that one. No, it's not that one. Um, so, And I don't think it can be... I wonder if it's something to do with that. I wonder if that would let us know what is what. So there you are. So a little star come up. No, I don't think that's the one. Ah, hold on. There we go. Oh, what about that? How much of a genius is Scotty McClue? How much of a genius am I? Dinky do, I say. So there we are. Excellent. Right, we've managed to do that. And here we are back with you. Have you got a row of things along the bottom of the screen? I've got them along the bottom of the screen, so I don't know what's happening there. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome to the Wednesday evening pop-up. It's me, Scotty McClue. We're thinking about taking some calls tonight, so I don't know if you'd like to do that as well and come on and chit-chat. Uh, it might be best if we tried it on the Skype at some point, but I also want to do the quiz. Uh, so there we are. Uh, it's Wednesday evening. It's Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet and the world's top broadcaster just for you saying dinky do. Please do forgive me if you didn't recognize me in my Homburg and black glasses. I think I must have touched a wee filter before I came on and that's what happened. And then it was very difficult to get out of it. So that's what's happening there. And there's all sorts of stuff here. I didn't touch it though, uh, in case we end up with a wee problem. So excellent, you see. See that one, for instance. I don't know what happened. Oh my goodness me, what happened? Oh no, no stop, stop it, for goodness sake. Help, help me somebody. Oh no, I don't tell you what's going with this. I hope you're all having a cool day. Excellent, all right, wait a minute. Uh, how do you get out of this? Oh! Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh, my goodness me. So there you go. I won't touch another thing. I'll tell you guys. I don't know what happened there. It just seemed to go bananas. And then we were left with all that right. But there you are all. Sounds like something's out of sync. Uh, I'll phone up my niece. She's five. OMG, says Karen Mercury. I love the blues, brother Luke. Well, no, we're not going back to that just now because all sorts of things can happen here if you don't know what you're doing. That's the problem. You're so funny, says Atlanta Smith. I don't set out to be funny. For goodness sake, what's happening here? Share, 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 share. Don't tell anybody that McClue uh, got into trouble there. Excellent stuff. Right, welcome Welcome, welcome. If you just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure. Sharice is buckled. You're buckled. It's all right for you, Sharice. You know what you're doing on here. I don't. Graham Fergus is watching. Dinky Doo, lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome to the Scotty McClure Wednesday evening tea time pop-up. Just for you, excellent stuff. Uh, I'm just letting everybody know I haven't really had time to get uh, fully organized on the title tonight. So you'll just have to bear with me, guys. Now, a, a bit of quiz for you. Uh, so there we are. So I'll do a little bit of quiz and get you all sorted out. Um, wonderful stuff. All right. Are you ready? The berries of which shrub-like plant are used to make gin. So they are the berries of which 
shrub-like plant are used to make gin. Are you on the whiskey? No, I'm on the filter. I think that's what happened. It all went a wee bit bananas, a wee bit pear-shaped, and we're left with that. But I'm getting an idea as to what's going on now, and a lot of help. Somebody's going to get their five-year-old niece to help me out of a bit of a tight spot. All right, the berries of what? Shrub-like plant. Yes, big quiz here, are used to make gin. Karen Mercury says juniper. William Drysdale says juniper. Elaine Costello says juniper. John C. McCluskey says juni pet. So he's not very good with the predictive text. Atlanta Smith says juniper. Charles A. Diver says pass. Uh, need to as Gordons says Robbie. Don't like gin filtered says Sharice. So there you are. Slow. S-L-O-E, says Elaine Costello. No, that's a type of gin. Strawberry, says Joe Bryanton. And, of course, the answer is... Juniper! Excellent stuff, the juniper berry. I'll give you the clap. Excellent stuff. Uh, Jupiter, says Paddy McPhee. There we are. No, Paddy, it's not the Jupiter. So there we are. The juniper berry goes to make gin. Well done, everyone. What is the Windy City? Pardon me. So there you are. What is the Windy City? Pluto. The Pluto berry, says John Adams. No, no. Juniper. Excellent. You thought I was talking about Jupiter, didn't you? Yes. Tuned to the moon, says Sharice. Well, Sharice, don't worry about that. It's not a problem. There's a lot of people tuned to the moon, so why should you worry? Uh, so excellent stuff. The answer came up before you asked the question. Neil Berry, ex-Hearts player. Yes, diggy do. Chicago, right? Yes, the Windy City. Pardon me, Chicago. I've just blown in from the Windy City. Excellent stuff. You are, of course, correct. I shall just check. Yes, there we are. So, excellent stuff. Now, see if you know this one, because I know a lot of you are royalists out there. Chicago. Why did the royal family move their name from Saxe-Coburg to Windsor. All right. I confess I copied, says Elaine. You did, Elaine. You confess up on here, my darling. Do not worry. We love your honesty and your upfrontness, despite the fact you cheated a wee bit in the first place. But there we are. Excellent stuff. Right. Why did the royal family move from Saxe-Coburg Right? To Windsor. Who knows that one? Jackie Williams is watching. Excellent stuff. Elaine Costello. Because of the war. Which war? Uh, Glasgow and Edinburgh are windy. So John Adams. They are if you're in there. Bean City. B-E-A-N. <laughs> because it was German. Says Paddy McPhee. World War One. Because they are German. He says they're not our German now. I mean, the Queen's 50% Scots. For goodness sake, her mother was 100% Scots. No idea, says Karen Mercury. It was. World War II, Elaine Costello. No, 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 no. No, it was World War I, and um, Germany wasn't too popular because of all the trouble that they had apparently caused, and... Um, the royal family in this country, who were, of course, of German descent. Um, Prince Albert was uh, Albert of Saxe, Coburg, Gotha, and he stayed at Rosnau in uh, Germany. The Boer War, no, John Adams, the Boer War, and it's B-O-E-R, not B-O-R-E, was um, 1899, 1900. Churchill was in the Boer War. And I've got a picture of veterans... Uh, Boer War veterans in, I think, 1950, marching past um, up University Avenue. Boer War veterans. So there you are. Sharice is all laughs and smiles. If you just joined us, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is our Wednesday evening pop-up just for you to say dinky-doo. We're having a bit of a quiz and uh, we had a bit of a problem with filters earlier, so we're not going back there. I was half right, says Elaine. Yes, but which half? The fact that you said a war 
for the fact that you said World War Two. So there you are. Uh, Windsor City's better on a privy loan. No, no, Rab, you're getting all lost here. Half a point. Right, okay. Um, half point. Half point. So there, Robbie Cross says Churchill's a war criminal. No, he wasn't, Robbie. He was never tried as a war criminal. So there you are. But he obviously didn't go for peace at the start of the Second World War. And, of course, Chamberlain. So there you are, the darkest hour. Poor old Chamberlain was suffering um, cruelly from cancer. Uh, Churchill's an alcoholic, says Charles Diver. Well, these are all opinions. If you told me Churchill is dead... That's a fact. So there you are. A finger slipped, I meant to put one. Of course you did. So they are churchy as a bulldog, says John Adams. Excellent. Right. Enough of that nonsense. Scotty McClure is moving on. Where did Panama hats originate? All right. Did you swallow a exlopedia? With the facts, no, Scotty McClue has got an IQ of 161, or 64, sorry, 164, sorry, wasn't clever enough to remember exactly what was going on there. Ha, says Karen Mercury, excellent stuff, okay, half a plan, right, where did the Panama hat originate? Can we have another share? Let's have a share, guys, let's do a bit of sharing here, share, 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 share. We'll do a bit of sharing. Scotty McClure's got a very, very busy screen here, guys. Very, very busy indeed. There we are. I'll just close that down. Close that down. Just have a wee kick around the corner. Easter House Shopping Centre. Now, the Panama hat, to my knowledge, did not originate in the Easter House Shopping Centre, albeit that you can buy lots of interesting things there. Uh, Primark says, <laughs> what are you at now? You're at the nonsense. So there we are. Stop being at the nonsense. There we are. The Panama hat, where did it originate? My IQ is 69, says John Adams. So I believe, John. Uh, and as that, no, no, it wasn't Hawaii, says Elaine Costello. Uh, I meant stockings from Cuba, says Trevor Entwistle. Uh, there's Rab. Rab says, as does well. No, no. No, it did not. Where did it originate? So there we are. Excellent stuff. Um, I'm sure you get this right. Good evening, Scotty, says Christopher Love. Dinky do, everybody. If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You are, of course, watching Scotty McClure's Wednesday evening pop-up. Guys, I'm thinking of going back to taking calls. I'll work out how to do it. Would you all be up for that? And then you can call into the program. So there you are. I was talking to a very, very senior person in entertainment earlier and I said, Scotty, go for the calls. People love all that. Clacton on Sea, says Elaine. Elaine, it's not Clacton on Sea, but good guess. Right? Any of you know where the Panama hat originated? If you've just joined us, a very, very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. Share, share, share. I'm just going to do some more sharing. Let everybody know that we are about. I shall share to uh, a page. Uh, that's always a good one. Share to a page. I always say, there we are, on your page. This is wonderful. And we're sharing there, right? Just let everybody know that we're live. Uh, Tesco says, says Sharice, Brighton. No, no, the Panama hat actually originated. You can't call me in Messenger, Charles. I'm not on Messenger because it interrupts the broadcast. The Panama hat, not the Panama Canal, but they were shipped to Panama from Ecuador. There you are. It wasn't Panama Sharice. No, 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 no. There we go. I'll just pop that in here. Can everybody now share, 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 share. Let's get these figures up. Share to all your groups, guys. Just take this and put Scotty McClure is live now. And let your groups know. And let's get the figures up. We're doing a bit of a quiz just to let you know. Uh, next question. Are you ready? Right. In the climax, the climax uh, of what film does the male lead climb down the presidential faces of Mount Rushmore? So there you are. Right, Mount Rushmore, and you've got all the presidents carved out of the rocks. 
And in what film, right, very important, does the, um, does the uh, <clears throat> male lead? So there you are. Uh, what a tune, Ecuador. Yes, Linda Mallon's watching. Thank you, do. I love cigars, says John Adams. No smoking on the program, John Adams. Cliffhanger, says Elaine Costello. Right, the male lead. Which film does he go down the presidential faces at Mount Rushmore? Very, very important. Okay. Anybody know that one? Uh, oh, nut, John. The smell gives me the heave, says Sharice. Sharice gets the heave when there's a cigar on the go. So she wouldn't have been very good working with Churchill. Was Stallone in it? Paddy McPhee, train spotting. No, rang. Edward Scissorhands, Joe Brownston, rang. So there you are. Was it Will Smith? <laughs> Trevor Entwistle, King Kong, says Derek Jimmy Walker, rang. The Muppet movie, rang. So there you go. <laughs> Which one was it? You know the presidential faces at Mount Rushmore? They're all carved out of the rocks there. Absolutely incredible. Do you want a bit more light on here, guys? Am I looking a wee bit dark down one of my sides? So there we are. We, we have to check that. Is that okay for colour? I look a wee bit yellow tonight. I'm just going to see if we can change it a wee bit. How about that? Is that any better? That bit, that's yellow again. Yellow. There we are. Is that okay? I give up. Not a clue. It was north by northwest. So there you are. I said cliffhanger, says Elaine. I know you did, but it's north by northwest. Spitting image, Scotty. I haven't spat at all. Scotty, maybe you should get tunes on as well, like DJs, and we can do requests. We can't do music, Annette, because we'd end up with a massive copyright problem. So there you are. So we can't do the music. So that's why you get Scotty McClue giving you the chit-chat. Excellent stuff. Tell Ted to tell Ted. Let everybody know. Let's have another share, guys. Come on. Share, 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 share. And welcome, a very warm welcome to Scotty McClue, the Wednesday evening pop-up. If you've just joined us, think you do. Lassie, come home. I can see your slitters on your jersey. What do you mean slitters? No slitters on my jersey. For goodness sake, Trevor Entwistle. Debbie does Dallas. Oh, no, no, Billy Hunter's watching. Welcome, welcome. Lassie, get down off the couch, says Elaine Costello. I don't think there's such a film. I think you're at the wind-up here. You're winding up, McClure. Excellent. Gavin Peter Wild, lol. Uh, Cher's a good singer. So there, no share, not share. So there you are. I'm doubled up here, says Karen Mercury. Oh. <laughs> well, that, <laughs> that'll mean nobody will spot you if you're going to get your tea. You can eat somebody else's and say, where is she? Have you seen her? So oh, she's doubled up. Uh, Lassie, did you poop in my shoe? Says the lady. Said, no, no, I don't think that's a movie either. Lassie, come and dance with me. So there you are. What about that? Lassie, come and dance with me. Not with the paws, you know, very nice. So there are love it, John. Do you do? Uh, Charisse is having a laugh. Are you having a wee laugh, Sharice? Excellent. Right, next question. Enough of this nonsense, guys. You would think this was light-hearted banter. This is a very, very serious quiz. Scotty McClure's giving you the question, so it must be serious. So there we are. Um, <laughs> who wrote Look Back in Anger? There we are. Now, it's not something I do. I could do, but I don't do it. Because I've only met one bad person in my whole life, and he knows who he is. So there you are. So I don't look back in anger. In fact, I don't really look back at all. I look forward to the future. Excellent stuff. Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster, just for you saying dinky do. Welcome, welcome, welcome if you've just joined us. And uh, you're, you're shockingly, horribly, and appallingly late. It's the Wednesday evening pop-up. We're in the middle of the quiz. Lassie, come home. Uh, you're always saying that to the missus. The last of the Mohicans. So there you are. <laughs> I think the last of the Mohicans must have sculpted my clue. So there you are, getting a bit thin in the top. Oasis, says Fiona Brown. No. <laughs> Who wrote 
Look back in anger. It wasn't Oasis, right? Woof, woof, says Derek Jimmy Walker. I think you're dogging it. You definitely are, so there you are. And um, I'll have to have a pause to get it pause. Uh, there we are. Genuine quote, don't believe everything you read on the internet. William Shakespeare. Yes, that's right. Shakespeare. I think Shakespeare. I wonder if he got some of his plays off the internet. You know, so there we go. It'll be very interesting to see. Kevin McDonald. So that's that. Uh, Liverpool Pansies, says Trevor Entwistle. Now, if you watch last night's late night pop up, we did some accents for you. So enjoy these, I say. Excellent stuff. No, no, Sharice. It wasn't. It wasn't. Look back in anger. Who wrote that? Ah, Karen Mercury. John Osborne. It was the angry young men in the 1950s. I'm trying to think when he wrote it. I would think probably around 1956, Look Back in Anger was written. But that's off the top of my head. So you'll all want to check that. So there you go. You see, when I did the phone ends, I had to have everything off the top of my head. So the excellent. No, no, it wasn't uh, the Gallagher brothers at all. It was John Osborne. Look Back in Anger. Next question. Are you ready? I cheated, Scotty, says Karen Mercury. I know you did, my darling, but shh, don't tell anybody. We'll keep that between you and I and the rest of the universe. All right, my phone died, Scotty. I'm back, says Atlanta Smith. Excellent, lovely to have you back, Atlanta. The Green Cross Code Man, 1956. There you are, I'm right. I got it right. My clue is seldom wrong, but I was right that time, I'll tell you. Can you please say hi to Haley? Yes, of course I can. Old codgers get the one point. Barking up the wrong trees, says Derek. Yes, you were. You were dogging it. Okay, thank you, says Karen. No, thank you, my darling. Dinky you do. If you've just joined us, everybody, a very warm welcome. You're watching Scotty McClue. This is the big one. The uh, Wednesday evening pop-up just for you. Share, 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 share. Uh, so there we are. Um, I had a wig, Elaine says, made out of bottom hair, but it kept blowing off. So there we are. Ned McMillan, hello. Excellent stuff. Whose journeys aboard the Beagle allowed some revolutionary theories to evolve? Now, there's a clue in the words there. As you know, McClure's a bit of a wordsmith. So there we are. Whose journeys in the Beagle allowed some theories to evolve, evolutionary theories. Scotty, I like your pick behind you. I needed to say this. Do you want to look at it? There you go. There's all my clue. I'll move out the way. And the dog's there. Shall we put the lamp on? Would you like the lamp on me? Me heart is. There you are. <coughs> Shared every word, says Robbie. Scotty, I like your pick. I'll go up and get my bone. Uh, so there we are. I've got a bone to pick with you, I'll tell you. On the phone. So there we are. So Sharice, you're on the phone, Sharice. Excellent stuff. We'll put the lights on. It's getting a wee bit dark in here now. So there you are. And I like to see you all. Charles Darwin. Darwin, it was. Darwin's theory of evolution. Somebody asked me recently, uh, am I an evolutionist? or a creationist, and I told them both. So there you are, very important. Yes, I win. Yes, I went on a team-building weekend once, and I won. Excellent stuff. Jeremy Beagle. <coughs> William Drysdale, what are you at? What BBC TV programme, right, popularised snooker as a spectator sport? So there you go. What uh, BBC TV program popularized snooker as a spectator sport? <coughs> Pardon me. Who can remember that? JP McCusker's watching. Dinky do. Lovely to have you with us. One of the world's great broadcasters. Privileged to have you here. You'll know the answer to this. What um, famous BBC TV program popularized snooker? as a spectator sport. Big break, says William Drysdale. Porridge, says Elaine. <laughs> Porridge, for goodness sake. What on earth are you people up to? Never had so much nonsense in all my life. 
Big break. Dunno, I guess, is Annette Kirkwood. Yeah, you can have a guess, Annette. There's no law against guessing, I would say. I know which one it was, and I can remember the wonderful theme tune as well. So there we are. Thatch of the day, says Elaine. No, not thatch of the day. So there you are. Giza break says John Adams. Okay. Well, I see. You thought that was the name of the program. Gives a break. No, 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 no. Come on, somebody must know. Uh, Alan Neil Neely. Be polite now. Remember, I've got young people watching. So watch your language. Ha, 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 says Elaine Costello. I can remember it was a wonderful theme tune to it as well. Do you remember the theme tune? And who played the theme tune? And on what instrument? There you are. That's all sort you lot out, big style. Right, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you've just joined us, you're watching Scotty McClure with a Wednesday evening pop-up. Excellent. We're right in the middle of the quiz. Wonderful stuff. Okay, so the BBC television programme popularised snooker as a spectator sport. Who knows the answer to that one? Come on, hands up. There we are, and I'll pick somebody. <laughs> Elaine Costello's wondering. Dinky do. Can I have some more hearts, please? Tap, 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 tap on your screens. It's only a game, so put up a real good fight, says John Adams. Absolutely. It's all about the winning. You thought it was about the taking part. The excellent. Gus McPhee's watching. Dinky do. Uh, Roy Castle and the trombone. No, it wasn't Roy Castle and the trombone, but Roy Castle, the late Roy Castle, was very, very good on the trombone, or the trumpet. He was more of a trumpeter, wasn't he? Did he play the trombone? I thought that was George Chisholm. So there you are. Was he a Womble? Says Karen Mercury. No, it wasn't Uncle Bulgaria, and it wasn't Tober Moray. So there we are. That's what they call it, Tober Moray, although the place is called Tober Moray. Yes, underground, overground, wombling free, the Wombles of Wimbledon Commonery. It's all about the banter, says William Drysdale. Point. Excellent. Uh, was well, Snooker Loopy the song? Um, now, Robbie, I'd need to check that. Now, I think the song was called after the programme. So there you are. But I'd need to, uh, I'd need to check. Yes. Uh, Mike Bat was a Womble, was he not? So there you are. This is Karen Mercury. Who did the voices for the Wombles, Karen? Come on, fess up. Pop Black, says Derek Jimmy Walker. It was. It was... Uh, Pop Black, and I think it started off with a wonderful, fast-moving piano solo by um, Winifred Atwell. So there you are. What about that? Uh, Chaz and Dave, Snooky Looper. No, no, Elaine, it wasn't. It wasn't. I'll tell you, it wasn't. So there you are. But I'm pretty sure that Winifred Atwell played the piano for Pop Black. So there you are. Uh, you can check that up. I tell you, there we are. I'll just do another share. Let you all know we're sharing, sharing, sharing. Uh, Wednesday evenings pop up just for you, Dinky Doo, Scotty McClure, the World Stop Broadcaster. Guys, I'm thinking of taking calls on the pop ups. Would you be up for that? Oi, I said that, says John Adams. I know you did, you did. And we said that you said that. And you said that we said that you said that. So it's not a problem. Somebody else said that you said that we said that you said that. So there you are. So not a problem, I said. I say I just said that. Did you say that I said that? Because I did. I said that. Oi, oi. Uh, I got one right, said Derek Jerry Walker. Excellent bully for you, as they say. Thomas Hamilton's watching Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you with us. You're watching Scotty McClue on the Wednesday evening pop-up, live on Facebook Live, the Wellstop broadcast platform. And we are live for you, Dinky Doo. Excellent stuff. So there we go. How are we doing for time? Because uh, I'll have to push off soon, uh, I say. But you did get one right. Let me just check. Uh, I'm just going to pop back and do a little bit of checking there. I think he said that, says Robbie. Robbie, I think he said that. I'm sure he said that. And he said he said that as well. So there we go. Uh, pot black. Mm, pot black. Excellent stuff. And I'll give you one more question, guys. Um, where would you find a plimsoll line? Where would you find a plimsoll line? All right. Excellent stuff. I'm just looking here. You guys carry on. Uh, excellent. There we are. The theme tune. Uh, Pop Black. 
just looking it up, checking out. Who says what? I says it, says Annette K. Kirkwood. Wonderful stuff, isn't it? Wonderful stuff. The Black and White Rag, composed by George Botsford and performed by, wait for it, what did McClure say? Winifred Atwell. Excellent stuff. Jerry, who cares? Everybody cares. Captain Sensible, somebody said there. A steward's eye query. So there we are. On your ankle, says Veach. <laughs> In your shoe. <coughs> Where would you find a plimsoll line? All right. Very, very important. Where would you find a plimsoll line? On a ship, says Caroline Thompson. You're absolutely right. It's your board of trademark. There were circle with the straight line through it on the hull. So it says how deep that ship can be loaded. So there you are. Absolutely loaded. On a clipper, on a yacht. Yes, you'd find it on all of these. I'm sure it was called after Samuel Plimsoll. So there you are. What about that? Off the top of McClure's head. In the gym, says Annette Kirkwood. Your gym shoes. Do you remember your black gym shoes? Do you remember your gutties? So there you are. Do you remember your gaff shoes? <laughs> what about that? Anybody ever had gaff shoes on? If you've just joined us, welcome, welcome, welcome. You're watching Scotty McClure, the first lord of the internet, the world's stop broadcaster with the Wednesday evening pop-up on a boat. Annette Kirkwood goes, ha, you're quite right, Annette, dinky-doo. I say, right, I think it's time I wasn't here. Been lovely, lovely, lovely being with you tonight, as always. This is Scotty McClure saying, dinky-doo, take great care of you, and let me know if you'd like me to take calls on the programme. And let's make a start with this. Because, as you know, Penny Blacks, says Robbie Gross, absolutely, your Penny Blacks, your gaff shoes. Your gaff shoes. Uh, so there we are. Barrel Breakout, says Rab. <laughs> your, your Jesus sandals, says Annette Kirkwood. So there we are. Penny Blacks, says Carlan. Yes, indeed. Your black gym shoes that we wore with the wee crepe soles. So they are, well, they were pretty crepe if you tried to run in them. That's all I could say. Right, this is Scotty McLean saying thank you to every one of you. Take great care of yourselves. I'll sing you the song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. Of we to zane, au revoir, and a cheerio. Cheerio, my darlings, the best bit of television you'll ever see. Scotty McClue saying to every single one of you, dinky-doo.